Hello and welcome to my Space Invader series in Java. In this game, we implement key controls to different types of enemies, collision detection, learn about multi-threading, audio system, UI layouts and much more. If you haven't watched the previous videos, check the description for links and go check them out before following along with this one. So in today's lesson, we're going to be working on the menu level for our game. In the process, we're going to be covering the border layout in Java AWT. Um, we'll learn how we can uh, have four, uh, well, essentially five items, five components in one um, one J frame. Okay, we're going to be creating it from the scratch, uh, learning about how we can um, do multi-threading and how we can add components into different sort of sections. All right, so with that, let's get started. So first, we're going to create a new class. Okay, so we're going to click on the project, uh, then source. Right click on the package name and then new class. Now this is the class that we are going to be uh, instantiating once we um, well, once we start the game. Okay, so after the menu, after the intro, this class is what that's going to pop up. Alright, so we're going to do um, public class menu and then we're going to start the import statements. So for the import statements, they're essentially the swing.star, awt.star and awt uh, event .action listener. And event dot action um, action event. Now for the actual class, we are going to be needing a reference to the J well, not, not reference like we need an ins instance of the J J frame. Okay, so we're going to create a window out of a J frame. Um, now instead of extending a panel or extending a J frame, we're going to use uh, J frame uh, as a, a data field, okay, a private static data field. Now I must mention these codes are um, a trimmed down version of the code available on Java, Java's document uh, documentation. Okay, I'll leave a link down below. Okay. Now essentially, what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to set up the border layout. And the border layout can have five items, okay, as you saw in the demo. Um, First, I'm going to start up. I'm going to set up the start button. Okay, that's the button that we're going to press to start the game. And I'm going to place it at the very top. Okay. Now you can see the uh, parameter, the container parameter. That is essentially think of that as the content of the of the game of the level of the yeah frame. Okay. So first, we're going to create the uh, create a button. It's called J button. Okay. Now we're going to set the button's size. Okay. Um, it's essentially like how we set the J frame size in the previous videos. Okay, so we're going to set button dot set preferred size. Remember, the preferred size takes a dimension object, so we're going to have to create a new dimension. And for the dimension, remember we have five items. Okay, we have five items to fit in. Okay, now I want this one to match the exact width of the window. So what I'm going to do is for the wind uh, for the width. I'm going to just have um, make a call to my game manager script. I can just take um, the take the value of the windows um, windows width. OK, so we're going to go game manager dot width. So essentially, um, so scene uh, screen width, um, comma. And now I'm going to have three rows. OK, I'm going to have three rows. Uh, his top row would well this is how the border layout is actually okay so this is how the border layout is like you have the uh, top row you have the middle section and the bottom row okay and I want this to be uh, a height of just one uh, one item so I'm dividing the screen height into five pieces okay um, and setting that to my uh, height okay but you guys can go with the different values up to you now you're gonna customize it using a, uh, an image if you don't want to use the Java Java um, swings default um, button okay so I'm just gonna go button dot set icon and the new image icon and then start dot PNG if you are using my um, asset folder uh, it should be in there you can download it from the link below if you're if you're using one of your uh, images do make sure you are typing the name and the image belongs or like image is in the directory okay now that's all set up, like a button set up, but we need to make it functional. Now for that, we need to create an action listener. Okay, essentially we're gonna implement an action listener interface in uh, the shortest way possible. Um, so button dot action listener, and then the um, parameter is the action listener instance. Okay, so we go new action listener. Okay. Uh, followed by well, but should do take my time to explaining. Okay, so yeah, the button isn't functional. Uh, it it would just be there. 
uh, without the action listener. Um, whatever you do inside the action listener would happen when you press the button. Okay, so button.add action listener and the parameter is an action listener instance. So we're gonna go new, uh, um, new action listener, round brackets, okay, and then curly braces. Now inside the curly braces, you define what you wanna do. Okay, now I want to dispose this window because this is essentially my start uh, uh, button. So we're gonna dispose this window and um, open up the uh, gameplay window, okay? Now, um, whatever we wanna do, okay, this needs to be overriding uh, the actual action, action listener class, okay? So we have to match the um, state, like the syntax or the name, okay, everything. So it's gonna be public void action performed and the um, parameter is action event. Okay, so we, we know that, like, it, it, it is overriding, okay? Um, um, and now, yeah, inside of the action if uh, performed, you can, as I said, do whatever you want. I want to close this current window, okay? So basically, dispose the current frame. So frame to dispose, um, and then you open up all while you load into your gameplay. For now, I'm just gonna create a J option pane because I don't have the gameplay uh, levels like you guys um, as we're just building towards it. So I'm just gonna have J option pane dot show a message, okay? Um, you guys can just have a print statement if you want. The system dot on print line doesn't matter. But yeah, we're gonna just I'm just trying to typing up next tutorial. Now with all of this done, the button is uh, set up like it, it looks um, like its customization is done. The functionality is added as well. All we need to do is add it to the pane, the content, the content pane. Okay, so the container. So we're gonna go um, pane dot um, add in a minute actually. So yeah, um, essentially we are adding it to the like the border layout, okay? And I'm gonna add it to the very top, okay? Uh, I did kind of struggle uh, understanding how it works, but um, essentially now it makes sense. Like the very, so the top is called, I think, page start. Uh, left is called line start, middle, is middle, I forgot, yeah, middle or center, okay? So yeah, so paint.add, and then you add the item button, comma, border layout.page start, okay? So page start is essentially top of the page. Now with one of the buttons done, we can just repeat this step um, five times. Okay, so I'm just gonna let you guys have a look at how I do it. Um, I'm gonna talk through it. I do comment on all the all the steps that I take. Okay, so essentially five times, except the center. The center one is um, more like label. Okay, but you would have the comments. So yeah, enjoy and make sure you guys are reading the comments through if you if you don't understand what I'm doing. Okay. So essentially, I just copy all uh, the code from the start button inside and paste it inside the left button. Okay. There you go. And then I change the relevant uh, lines of codes. For example, the last one where, 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 last line where I have to change it from page start to a different position. Okay, uh, the obviously the action performed would be different because it, it comes down to what you want to do. Now for the position, line start is where I want to make sure this button go, the left button. Line start is essentially, is essentially the left of your page, okay? Uh, action performed comes down to you guys, what do you guys want to do? Uh, I'm just gonna uh, shut up now <laughs> and let you guys code, okay? Um, yeah, make sure you read the comments.
Now for the middle button, um, this is not going to be a button, okay? This is this is actually um, just a label or sent image, okay? I do change the name, I think. Oh, I don't. So yeah, it's um, the. Oh, yeah, I do actually. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's sent image. It's 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 not a button, okay? The way you paint this uh, as an image is you create a label, but instead of giving the label a text, you just make it so it has an icon, okay? So let's have a look at how it's done. So with all the buttons done, it's time for us to actually start adding the components to our pain. <laughs> Not our pain, as in pain. Yeah, so we need to add the uh, components to our, our content ma well, container, okay, which essentially is your like the uh, place where all the contents are going, okay. So again, the, all this code, it's it's coming straight from the docs, uh, well, a bit, bit simplified. But the first one is just you set the orientation, so the page goes from left and right, left to right, and then you just keep calling the functions, okay, the function that we have defined from uh, the start button all the way to the, um, I think the bottom one, okay. I do misspell the bottom button, okay, so you'd see it throws me an error, so I have to like go back up and change the name. So hopefully you guys didn't misspell bottom. Yeah, I did kind of <laughs> misspell button. Okay, so we have add components uh, function done. Okay, make sure you have the pr uh, parameter there as well. Now we need to create a frame. Okay, remember in the previous videos we created, we extended the panel, so we didn't really have to do a separate function for this. We did, we did this right in the constructor. Here we're just creating a frame. Okay, it's frame equals to new J frame. Basic stuff. We do some housekeeping, so the frame closes with the second line, and then we just call the add frame components. Okay, now for the uh, the content pane. Okay, we just get the frames uh, built in content pane. Okay, so we go frame dot uh, add con get content pane, then frame dot pack to set the set everything to its size, uh, and then visible true. Now, the constructor, okay, now here's the thing. I read this off of Java's uh, documentation doc. Again, I'll leave a uh, documentation link. I'll, re I'll leave the link down uh, in the description. It has to be called, well, the way they've done it, it has to be called from a thread, okay? So, and the, it has to be called from invoke later. So it's java x dot swing dot uh, swing utilities dot invoke later. Um, again, we have to um, like, do the runnable and override the run function, okay? Um, this is a thing, it's to do so the dispatch thread doesn't get it, like all the AWT, AWT events, they don't get into uh, this thread being created, I think, okay? And we go back to the intro class and where we had the J option pane, we get rid of that and instead we just turn, we just create the menu class, okay? Like my sign is muted off, but you guys should have all the images popping up and all the buttons working. Okay, uh, if you guys like the video, please do subscribe. It really helps. And in the next video, we'll start with the main player. Okay, so we can script the main player. Uh, we'll actually learn about it, um, inheritance, inheritance in a bit more detail. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.